Are we prepared for the seal of God? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome. I'm Elder Sandra Tillman of Abney Chapel Seventh Day Adventist Church. Thank you for joining us today as we continue our journey with Jesus Christ. Today is September 3rd. Our nugget, prepare to meet thy God. Our scripture comes from Amos chapter 4, verse 12. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. You know, when I first heard that caption, prepare to meet thy God, God is letting you and I know. He is serious about what is getting ready to happen in this world. That means we've got to not only spend time with them, do Bible study, witness, get ourselves together, prepare to meet thy God. We get so caught up sometimes in helping others and going here and taking care of that, doing everything for everyone else. But are we ourselves prepared to meet our God? Are we so tired that we can't pray? Are we so tired that we can't pick up our Bible and read it? Are we so tired that we can't even listen to the word of God? Prepare to meet thy God has more than one meaning. But God is speaking not only to literal Israel, but he is speaking to spiritual Israel as well. I do not care what church you are from. God is coming for a people, his church. Not an Adventist church, not Baptist, not Methodist, not Catholic, not Episcopalian. He's coming for his church. Are we prepared to meet God, his Christian church, his Christ-like church? That is the church that Jesus is coming for. Are we prepared to meet Christ? And he is not talking about the church corporately only. He is talking about the individual church. Are we ready to meet our God? The time is coming when Jesus will say, and we hear it all the time. He that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is just, let him be just still. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Prepare to meet that God. What are we doing to prepare to meet Jesus? Jesus one day will no longer plead for you and he will no longer plead for me. Are we ready to see him when he returns? We must prepare now to meet our God. Those of us that are not sealed, I want you to get this, everyone, with the Holy Spirit, will be on their own during the time of trouble. Let me say that again. Those of us who are not sealed with the Holy Spirit of Jesus will be on our own during the time of trouble. Remember last week uh, we spoke on, um, how can I say it? There are going to be those that the Spirit, Holy Spirit is going to possess one, but he's not going to possess the other, or he's going to fall on one, but he's not going to fall on the other. That's what it meant. It did not mean a literal, he's going to take one up to glory and leave it. No. And I'm, I want to put a pin in it because I have to say this. If he took us up to glory, 
when he returns with a retinue of angels, where are the people that he took to glory? That should tell you and I something. We have to be prepared to meet our God now in this present date and time. Why? Because the time is now, the time is short, and Jesus is soon to come. So what does it mean those that do not have the seal of God are on their own during the time of trouble? Remember, the Holy Spirit will only possess those permanently who have stood the test of time of loyalty to him, They've had a relationship with him. They invited him to live within them, to glorify God living in them by possessing them, baptizing them, and making them official sanctuaries for him to dwell. These are the ones that the Holy Spirit will possess. Those of us that the Holy Spirit will not possess during the time of trouble we're left at the enemy's hand. We have no protection if we're not sealed by God. He will only seal those who are prepared. So it's not time to straddle the fence with our relationship with God. We are either going to walk with him or we're going to walk with Satan. There's nothing in between. We must make up our minds here and now. This is not to frighten anyone. This is not to scare anyone, but to let us know that this world is coming to an end and the Holy Spirit is sealing saints of God in all denominations that are true believers, true believers of God. And they're going to stand for the right, though the heavens fall. You see, Jesus will protect those who are sealed by God. It doesn't mean we may not go through something, but he will give us the strength and the power to speak the words of God through the power of the Holy Spirit. And he will give us the ability to stand firm, faithful and strong in him. Through the grace of God, we conquer evil. Evil does not conquer us. This is why it's important to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit so that he can dwell within us peacefully. Those who hold on to pride, hatred, jealousy, envy, selfishness, hang on to this world, the wrongs in this world, and call them right, hold on to the wrong deeds of this world, will not stand in the presence of the Holy God. Why? Because only holiness can stand in the face of holiness. I'll give you a prime example. When Adam and Eve walked with God in the cool of the day, they were not afraid of God. But when they sinned, they ran from God. Why? They were no longer wholly connected to God. We have to be connected with God through the Holy Spirit. This is what keeps us going. This is what keeps us motivated in God. May God help us to be ready and prepared to stand right through the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, it is the power of the Holy Spirit that is going to get us through in the last days. But if we're not sealed with him, we cannot prevail in Jesus Christ. It is only through the Holy Spirit of Jesus that we will be more than conquerors for Christ's sake. And remember, the race is not to the swift, nor to the strong, but those who are willfully enduring until the end. We may be tore, broken up, but Jesus said the race is to those who make it across the finish line. May God help us to be prepared. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, seal us, your children, for the day of redemption. We know that time is sooner and quicker than we think. We see it all around us. Help us to be prepared, help us to study, to show ourselves approved unto you, workmen needing not to be ashamed, rightly dividing your truth. We bless you, God. We magnify you for your word and for helping us to be ready. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. May God bless us all.